<laughs> this guy's toast. So the new Hearthstone expansion announcement is coming up, and Blizzard has been dropping a few hints here and there about what the new theme might be. And today, they just released this little promo. One night, I was called on to scry. But what is this symbol I spy? It's my own crystal ball. Yes, I'll answer the call. And the others will come by and by. That's right. We be calling a team in. The masters of platin and scheming. By this candle glowing, I surely be knowing whose gold will be once more a gleaming. <laughs> it's the fortune teller from Whispers of the Old Gods, and she says she is putting together a team of plotters and schemers. There are five chairs around the table and five cards on the table. Each card seems to represent a villain from Hearthstone. The first card refers to herself, and the second card is King Togwaggle from the Kobolds and Catacombs set. Since you can see his candles, his goat, and his iconic crown on the card. It looks like the bad guys of Hearthstone are putting together some kind of suicide squad. So that's it? What, we some kind of suicide squad? If you look at the Fortune Tells card, it has an eye floating in the sky. And the eye could represent the Curentor, who is the ruling organization on Dalaran. They're represented by an eye, and they float in the sky. Come on guys, it, it, it all fits. Another clue that lends credibility to this theory is the adventure preview they gave. This image right here. Now there are three big clues. Number one is the background picture, which is off the Dalaran sewers where a lot of criminals hide out. Number two is the hero used in the bottom left picture. With the knowledge that Togwaggle will be involved, we can see that the hero in the bottom left is in fact Rakanishu, the candle that hides in King Togwaggle's crown. He is most likely the mage henchman hero that you can play as for a new adventure. And number three, speaking of henchmen heroes, you can see three of them for warrior, shaman, and rogue. And they all seem to be villains from the World of Warcraft universe. The Pandaren warrior could be Mr. Chu, the bodyguard of black market dealer Madame Goya, who operates in the Dalaran sewers. The Sethrak snake shaman is most likely Emperor Korthak, the evil leader of the Faithless with his staff and maroon cowl. And finally, we have the Volpera fox rogue who should be Captain Eudora, leader of the Bilge Rats pirate crew, recognizable by her eye patch, skull hat, and green feather. Not to mention that on Dalaran, there is a super prison called the Violet Hold, designed to keep powerful criminals locked up. In the recent teaser, there are screws on each side of the card back used, maybe implying some kind of you know, high security lockdown environment. So my guess is that the supervillain team is going to break some of their henchmen out of jail and maybe escape through the Dalaran sewers. Alright, now that you've listened to my ramblings, what do you all think? Who are the three remaining villains yet to be revealed? Rafam? Hagatha? They're calling this the Year of the Dragon, so we could very well see Nefarian make a comeback from the Black Rock Mountain adventure. Let me know your guesses in the comments below, and when it turns out to be correct, you can come back and gloat about it. Thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. I know things have been kind of slow on this channel, but with the new Hearthstone expansion coming up, you can expect a lot more content. See you guys next time. Hey, lights out.